All right, so, hmm. I mean, that's definitely an interesting hint. So we got these now. So great paintings, rectangular or square, are hanging in rooms very much like this in a different one from the northern air. Oh, so. A room very much like this. Huh. There isn't a duplicate room like this, though. That's the problem. So I can't assume it's this specific room, right? Got his dog. Is there anything on this? Hmm. Rectangular or square? I mean, I guess we can take a look around and see if anything catches our eye. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Lupin. In a room much like this. Hmm. Great paintings, rectangular or square. So that's the room that we were just in. Are hanging in rooms very much like this in a different one from the northern air. Count six sides as the needle turns. You can't miss. Count six sides. But, hmm. The only six-sided room is this one. One, two, three. Oh, no, this is an eight-sided room. Huh. Interesting. I mean, we can fast travel around, but it is kind of nice being able to get a lay of the land and maybe try to spot something while we're doing it. Hmm. Yeah, it seems... Seems odd that it wouldn't be this one, although it's not a hexagon, it's an octagon. Six sides. Hmm. Ugh. <laughs> Um, anything around here? Hmm. Oh! What's this? Ah! Elementary. Ah, in a somber corner and uh, under a white cloth. To ensure success, look for the red. It will not be inside, but uh, be not wroth. It's impossible if you use your head. Huh. So we have C-O-R. A white cloth. There's only one room I remember seeing, and that's the, I guess, the workshop. That had a uh, white cloth over the paintings being worked on. So maybe he snuck a, a note underneath one. Maybe I'm wrong. Only now in space. Hmm, white cloth. Let's read that again. Uh, in a somber corner under a white cloth to ensure success. Hold on, look for the red. Hmm. I guess they're not, like, fully white cloth. Alright, let's go out and have another look. Under a white cloth. Wonder if any of the drapes ha are, are white? In any of these rooms? That'd be my best guess. Hmm. White cloth. Yeah, no, nothing there. White cloth. Arsene, what do you mean by this clue? Look for the red. Maybe it's the red in the floor? Or the red on the walls. White cloth. Oh. The supper at Emmaus, where the resurrected hmm. Jesus appears. White cloth. Painted by Caravaggio, 1571 to 1610. He was a master of chiaroscuro, and the Caravaggioism movement was named after him. Chiaroscuro being a strong use of shadow. I I do enjoy. Basically, all, all kinds of different images that kind of evoke a chiaroscuro. Like, whether it's, you know, harsh lighting in a film and television show, shadow, shadowed, uh, or, or, or partially shadowed figures in, in portraiture. Hmm. White? That would have been my best guess. That's the only one I've seen that has a noticeable white cloth in it. 
Maybe it's like around it? Going down that space? No? Hmm. St. Catherine of Alexandria by Antonio de Solario in 1514. Originally part of a trip. Wow. Apparently he knows a lot. What horrors. Oh, yeah. Those are very unpleasant. But this is like the maybe this is the red he's talking about? White cloth. White cloth. But don't use your head, right? It will not be inside, but not be not but be not wroth. It's not impossible if you use your head. Hmm. White cloth. White cloth. White cloth. Uh, I mean, I don't really see much white cloth in this, the but let's take a look. 1533 by Hans Holbein the Younger. In the foreground, we can see a distorted skull, a symbol of mortality. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I don't really see anything there. I mean, maybe we can talk to uh, the director. Maybe he has a hint. Maybe we can tell him, be like, hey, have you heard of a painting like this? Is it in this pile? <laughs> Can I borrow this lamp? Yes, we are oh. all Oh. Isn't that right, Palinor? Okay, well, I'm going to talk to you, you first, you but that means maybe we can go into the dark storage closet. Uh, Thank okay. You, gentlemen. Good. We'll be here hmm. if you have any further questions. Kind of weird that we can't Come, ask him. Palinor, back to the inventory. All right, let's go. Because there is the room over to the side here, right? I need something. Oh, I think I need to put the lamp in the room. There we go. Wow. <laughs> what the this hell is this? Contains something extremely heavy. Oh. I can't move it. A bucket with a red perimeter. Not bad. Ah. Hold on. Cause in a somber corner under a white cloth to ensure success, look for the red. I will not be inside, but be not wroth. It's impossible if you use your head. Oh, there is something here. Aha. Under a bouquet of lilies fair, the director is sleeping there, younger by a quarter of an hour, and you shall receive the power. Huh. Director is sleeping. Can I take this? Oh, cool. Oop, it's very dark. Let me out. Hmm. The director is sleeping an hour. Anything here? Anything here? Hmm. That's an odd one. I don't really... Hmm. Let's take another look at that. Under a bouquet of lilies fair. So we're looking for something featuring lilies. I don't think these are supposed to be lilies, right? Horrors. Yeah, no. They look like tulips. Lilies. Lilies. I'm assuming it's a portrait of lilies. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember seeing anything like that, but again, I haven't been looking at every single portrait very carefully. Hmm. Hmm. That's not a lily. What horrors? Yeah. That looks more like a daisy. Uh, no, these are That's trees. Hard. Trees, trees, mountains. Lily's Fair. Is there anything in the hallway? I guess we really haven't taken a look at much of these paintings. Again, I'm, I'm actually quite impressed by... Ah. Lots of flowers. Uh, those look more like tulips... That? I'm not quite sure what these flowers are. Hmm. Yeah, the footsteps at this. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, we could literally just go check the, the director's office. I don't remember seeing any portraits of... Lily's in here, though. Maybe what we can ask him. Want, Mr. Holmes? No. Thank you, gentlemen. Hmm. Good. Okay. What about you? I'm overwhelmed by this inventory. Ah. Uh, can't even ask you. 
Let's take another look at that and have a, have a think. Under Bouquet of Lilies Fair. So again, I have to assume that it is a portrait with lilies. The director is sleeping there, younger by a quarter of an hour. So younger by 15, and you shall receive the power. So is that a reference that it's also near a clock, or is there a bust of the director somewhere? Hmm. We'll take a good look. This time we'll go a little bit slower in case we are to miss it. Hmm. I mean, that's kind of cute. I, I'm kind of into this. <laughs> These bad cat portraits are very charming in a way. Yeah, can we go up here? No. Right, keep an eye out for lilies, I guess. Hmm. And the director. Quarter of an hour. Ah, there it is. It's Seth Pointer, the museum director who is on display here. Amusing. I mean, that is pretty funny. Your great uncle Horace had a grandfather. Both did proud the name Vernet or Vernet. The clue will lead you to a race on the Tiber. Decide which painting it is and don't sway. Huh. So we're looking for. A coast scene. Yeah. No. Amsterdam, 1626 to 1679. Because we a know scene with a Dutch that by Van der Capella. Uh, Holmes's grandfather has a work in here, and he's French. Or it was his great grandfather. Aha! Here's what I've been looking for. Oh, he made a duplicate. Okay. A canvas by Joseph Vernet, my great great uncle. Oh, great great uncle, that's it. A canvas by Joseph Vernet, my great Wait, what? great uncle. Um. Why? These two paintings appear identical. Yeah, they're pretty close. I mean. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we can investigate the portrait. Assuming to find something that it would be amiss. Ah, Lupin there he is. Example. I'm in need of a lamp. Uh, I have a lamp. Come on, close. There we go. Go oh, back, you go. Uh, I can't do it from here. So I'm assuming this is the one, even though it doesn't have him in either. But we do have a lamp. There we go. So we have to <laughs> literally <laughs> set this on fire. I'm sure this is uh, to the great uh, admiration and approval of the director. Ah. I will recopy all of that to better study it. So we left a note underneath. Nine paintings with so much in common. Theme and colors, brown, red, green, yellow, and blue. Put the colors face to face, help them to a line, and the last letter found will give you a clue. Huh. Nine paintings. But wait, there are a whole bunch of these ones. This must be one ah. Of the hmm. They're hanging art made by three year olds. We could probably do without. Okay, so maybe there's a clue in them. Uh, okay, so we just take them. Made by three year olds. We could probably do without. I mean, I don't think I need a reading every time we pick it up, but I'm guessing we will. Hmm. Uh huh. Made by three year olds. We could probably do without. Hmm. I'm glad it even like lets me. It forces me to wait to pick up another one. Made by three year olds. We could probably do without. Yeah, no, I, I bet we could. They're hanging art made by three year olds. We could probably do without. Holmes. <laughs> Imagine how insane it would be if someone did this in real life, just repeating the same line to themselves. Um, did we miss one in here? I don't think so. I think we got the one already, right? Yeah. I think there's at least one or two more. Yeah, there's one here. They're hanging art made by three-year-olds. We could probably do without. I have all nine things now, I think. Um, hmm. 
Oh, do we? Ah. So now we can add it to here. Oh god, this is gonna be a lot. Uh, can I rotate these? Or are they? I think they're in one position. Good. Okay, that at least helps. Ooh, this is gonna be a mess. All right. Uh, this looks like it kind of has to be in a middle square. Hmm. Maybe a corner. Okay. Uh, what about you? I'm assuming the edges of these things have to connect. Oh, no, it can rotate. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> well, that changes everything. Um, okay, so it can't be that one there. Sure, put you there. Uh, nope. Nope. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a lot trickier than I first thought. I mean, the the easier parts are... Hmm, that kind Not really. It doesn't really look like it connects too well. Hmm. Uh, that... Hmm. Don't like that either. No, don't like that either. Nope. What about here? Oh, that fits. Okay, so those two connect. So the seams are pretty tight. It'll be very clear when, when they actually match. Uh, nope. These big ones are a bit of a concern, but I guess we'll see. Uh, that kind of looks like it wants to connect, but not quite. Hmm. We'll, we'll move these around here just so we have maximum room down there to, to move around. Because I'm not sure if if some of them are able to go off screen. If they go like, like is this a match even if it doesn't like finish the, the pattern or whatever. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's really this big one that I have like Ah, so these two connect. Yeah, that's that's a pretty tight seam, but let's let's leave it like there. I like that for now, just so it's easier to see. Mm -hmm. I'm going by color, like I'm looking for like things that match that. No. Hmm. So it has to be three by three. No, that doesn't match nicely. How about here? Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I'm looking for like maybe like a little bit of this purple. No, that doesn't really match there either. What about this? No, it doesn't match there. It doesn't match there. Yeah, this is a bit of a puzzler. Yeah, it doesn't really want to go there either. Hmm. No, not there. Oh, I, I honestly thought that was going to connect there for a second. Oh, that does, though. Okay. Alright, so progress on that, at least. Hmm. The orientation doesn't really give me a good hint, though. Um, just for our reference, these two go together. Nope, I just want to put you guys there to make room. Um, maybe this goes like this. Like so. Maybe, maybe. Um, and then maybe like this. Uh, it doesn't really look like it matches there. What about here? Does this actually go here? Uh, no. Not quite a nice enough seam. This could be here, though, maybe. I mean, that's one of the few spots it can go. Okay, so at least progress on that. Nope, you don't belong there. What about here? Hmm. No, not there either. 
I mean, thankfully, at least now we're whittling down the choices. This looks like it matches. There we go. Okay, so this looks like at least we're in the right orientation. Nope, not you. Again, there's so many, only so many choices with these, so it at least helps. Okay, so that goes there. Oh, geez, where does this go then? Does this go like this? Ah. There we go. There, ah, voila. What? <laughs> no message proposes another riddle. I must have found all of the clues. However, I haven't made any progress. Perhaps the director might know. Hmm. More. Looks like a just like an S or a five. Okay. Well, at least we solved that. Director, director, I have a bunch of very odd paintings I need you to take a look at. So, Mr. Holmes, the day is drawing to a close. Mm hmm. Can I finally reclaim my museum? Tell me, director, does this word mean anything to you? Wait, what? I found a word? Um, <laughs> what? Oh, is it this? So it's C O R O N I. What is it? Coronis? I think it's Coronis. Uh, let me let me take out my mystery solving uh, worksheet. I think it's supposed to be Coronis. C O R O N I S. With S being the, the letter that we found on the the final, like, nine portraits. I'm going to guess. All right, let's try that. Nope. And N, I, I'm going to guess. Coronis. Aha. painting entitled Apollo Slaying Coronis. It's an old painting. Let me show you. Okay. Eleanor. Here it is. Lovely. This what can we glean from this? And doesn't seem to be hiding anything special. Can you tell me the history of this piece? It was created in approximately okay. 1617 by Dominique. Oh, it's on loan. It doesn't belong to us, but mm. is on loan temporarily by its owner. It represents the god Apollo using an arrow to slay his lover. Yeah, no, I mean, that's pretty obvious. Because of her infidelity. That's all? Um, yes, hmm. that's all. Well, Holmes, where are we? Very it's strange. Outside. I can't keep going any longer. Not one witness within a half mile in any direction. Uh. It would seem the men disappeared like ghosts. What is the note that you're holding? Oh, yes. A constable asked me to bring it to your attention. It could be from Lestrade. Oh, it could be we from... We separated over an hour ago. But you didn't even read it yet. Ah. No, no, no. Lo, Corona's destiny in a painting. It was there, but never did she know. Always around her, a black shadow. Not seen in the painting. This eve, six more missing. Oh, no. Okay, well, what is he going to go after six of? Incredible. Lestrade has also started using poetry. This note didn't come from Lestrade. Oh, come on, Watson. Lupin who sent it. You're smarter than Mr. that. Hunter, what could he mean by a black shadow and not in hmm. the painting? Yes, yes. In the legend, it's Apollo's bird, a raven, oh. who reveals Coronis's infidelity to him. Ravens. Thus, the raven, who is at the heart of the matter, is curiously absent from the painting. Okay. Anyway. Our latest message from Lupin states, Tonight, six more missing. Mm. Do you have the map of London with you, Watson? Get it for me, if you would. Six more missing. Hey, look at us. Uh, it seems weird to pass it to us just to go to the map of London. I mean, do we have to pick something? Hmm. Um... Yeah, six of six of what? Hmm. 
Get the map alone and get it for me, would you? I, I mean, I have it here. Uh, and it's not an item that we can give him. Hmm. How the hell do we give it to him? Do we just have to pick? Um, no? British Museum. Huh. I mean, what? Uh, Holmes could look at this. <laughs> uh, south? Oh, it did say... Hold on, hold on, hold on. What was the... The document. What did his pronoun say? Um... Destiny in a painting was there, but never did she know. Always around her, a black shadow. Not seen in the painting this eve. Six, uh, for some reason, I thought it said south somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe it is in the map? Um, what, what, let's take a look at this. Destiny in a painting. It was there, but never did she know. Always around her, a black shadow. Not seen in the painting this eve. Six more, huh? Um, where? We are in the center, right? We are at, ah, uh, yes, we're at Trafalgar Square. Hmm. What about anything in the east? Um, eh, home of the six ravens. That has to be it, right? That has to be it. Bank of England, founded by Scotsman William Peterson. It was uh, originally constructed above the ancient temple of Mythos. That doesn't sound right. St. Paul's Cathedral, many illustrious graves, blah, 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 blah. Nothing here. Um, what about West? Just to make sure. No, no. Oxford Circus. Piccadilly Circus. Burlington Arcade. No. No, our, our place. South, Buckingham Palace, no. No, none of this looks right. I think it has to be that. Yeah, right? The Tower of London Ravens. Hey, look at that. If the Ravens leave the Tower of London, the British Empire will fall. Oh, okay. There isn't a moment to lose. Find a hansom while I leave some instructions for the director. Okay. Oh, well, this is fun. Okay, so we're at the Tower of London. You were quiet during the whole trip in the handsome homes. I'm curious to know what you might have said to the director. Simply to reveal nothing to the public. Okay. claim that the appearance of a strange mildew on certain paintings has forced the museum to Ah, uh, okay. This quarantine will permit us to avoid the press from aggravating this already embarrassing Basically, situation. keep keep this whole but thing under wraps. if he pursues his scandalous idea and actions, we won't be able to silence all of the talk that will ensue all over the city. Oh, I don't know. Exactly all we're doing is giving ourselves a bit of time. From here on out, we must win this strange game, Watson. Lupin won the first round and has thrown me headfirst into this business because if he succeeds, my name Ooh, will be Ooh, yeah. With this adventure and synonymous with failure. By, by drawing uh, Holmes in, he, he basically ensures that he will be there. Who goes there? For the mystery. Sherlock Holmes. And the thievery. Friend, Dr. Watson. We are here at this late hour to meet with the chief warder. A recent event has led us to believe that some harm may befall mm -hmm. the security of the buildings and goods under his responsibility. Stay here and wait a moment. Above all, do not deface the walls. I mean, we weren't planning to, but I guess thanks for the heads up. Why do we, why do we look so much taller? Oh, okay, we, we, we dropped down. We were like floating there for a second. We were like way taller than him. Uh, I'm assuming we can... The guards return. Oh. I'm the detective, not the robber. I mean, come on, we're Sherlock Holmes. You think he would just understand that we have business to do? Do we have any items with us now? No. The lamp is no longer in our possession. Ah. Oh. Are these useful? Are they are they developers, or is there something that we can actually look at here? Uh, no. Yeah, apparently everyone defaces the walls here. <laughs> hmm. Looking around, seeing if there's anything of importance here. I don't think so. Doesn't I mean it doesn't look like there is. It looks like these are all like you know, just basically fun little scribblings. 
Oh, wait, Captain Stenwick. Wasn't that, uh... Wasn't that the guy from the story? Or maybe I'm misremembering the name. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, we can definitely take a look at these, I guess, but I don't really see any... I mean, are these just dev names that they, they funnily put in? Yeah, because I don't... He's not saying anything, and normally he's more like, Aha! And this is just Alan's. Yeah, looks like nothing. Okay. That's fine by me. Good evening, oh. gentlemen. I guess we had to do that maybe just to pass Smith, the time. The chief warder. Pardon me, but did you tell the guard that you are Sherlock Holmes? Indeed, I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. Watson. Incredible, Mr. Holmes. What a strange coincidence that Oh is. no. It's not a matter of coincidence in this case. I am here because something that you hold is something already happened. Disappeared. I was hoping to arrive in time to prevent this from happening, but I fear we are too late. Yeah. Watson, I am certain that the chief warder will answer all of our questions as he brings us to the scene of the Okay, crime. what's what's already oh, happened? If you would come this way. Don't like this. Thank you for your discretion, Mr. Holmes. I mean, if there's one thing we're good at, it's keeping uh, uh, a secret under wraps. On that note, I would like to know who warned you. Apart from the Raven Master, I thought no one else knew. Well, the thief did. <laughs> you should have assumed that someone else was fully informed of the situation. The same person who warned me. The very mm -hmm. person who stole the ravens. I beg your pardon? It's much too long a story to relate, and time is not on our side. <laughs> the basic facts of the matter are as follows. The man who stole the ravens has contemplated more than just your embarrassment. Your ravens will most certainly not be recaptured, not tonight, nor tomorrow. We must act accordingly. Uh, yeah, he's here for okay. humiliation, not for ransom. Reasons. You and the Raven Master must also confine yourselves and not talk to anyone, but continue your business as if nothing happened. Perfect. Just now, pretend everything's fine. Happened. That seems to be the plan of the evening. All right. Lay it all out. It's very simple. An hour ago at most, at nightfall, the Raven Master found me at my desk. Mm -hmm. He was quite agitated. The ravens had disappeared. As he was attempting to catch the last of the ravens to return it to the cage for the night, the black silhouette which he was chasing flew off. Oh. The ravens normally have their wings clipped. This bird then began to sing a little jingle, then hmm. flew swiftly away towards one of the buildings. The raven master then did a tour of the Oh, this is very strange. Noticed that the ravens had disappeared and were replaced. Incredible. Okay, well, tell me a little bit about the Raven Master. Where is the Raven Master? He is confined to his bed at present, and I am quite concerned due to his age. Mr. Holmes, we can't keep this matter secret forever. The Ravens must be returned as soon as possible. Indeed, there is a chance, as the thief certainly left some clues behind, quite possibly voluntarily. Without sounding vain, I do believe I'm the only one who's capable <laughs> I mean, of it seems like Arsene is specifically dining, designing these mysteries with the intent that only Holmes can solve them. Where are the ravens normally during the day? In the field facing the entrance mm. to the White Tower. Okay. You can get there through this door. I was just there and noticed this black envelope mm. on the ground. I haven't opened it yet. Okay. I Give it to me. Six have flown. Now the six are back. Look on each one again and again. Where will be uh where will be Lupin's next attack? That's where will be that's such a weird way to put that. The six reunited shall form a quatrain. Uh -huh, a quatrain. Are are there did did he write on them? Uh where will be where yeah, where will it doesn't rhyme. But again, where where will Lupin's next attack be would be like the correct grammar. But maybe that's a hint. Maybe that's a clue. Okay. Do you have a lantern you could lend us? You know. Yes, I can give you for more mystery idea. solving. I can also give you a map of the site. I'm sure you will find it handy. Indeed, 
I'm already starting to feel disoriented here. So we need to find the six ravens. I think... I think we can do that for you, my friend. I will inform the service personnel that your presence here is authorized and that they are to assist you in any way possible. I All right, great. So we, we have the run of the grounds, I guess. I must also prepare for the ceremony of the king. Ooh. Watson, the game is afoot again. What are we to Was do? Was it ever not afoot? Chase six birds, Watson. Chase? There must be a shotgun or two here, Holmes. Why can't we mix uh, business with... Uh, in case any of them are the real ravens. Shot ...and the bird flies off and never returns. Mm. Taking dignity with it. Can you handle that kind of pressure, Watson? Um... Well, exactly, Watson. Now, let's listen to their calls and find whence they originate. Oh, so do we have to determine what the birds are from their bird calls? Okay. Hmm. Oh, what do we have around here? This is a cool little environment. I wonder how accurate it is to the actual Tower London. Well, I guess the problem is, like, to what period, right? Because this is, like, you know, over a over hundred years ago. Seed husks, it would appear. Mm. Lupin must have lured the ravens and then caught them one after Yeah. Another. Hmm. Okay, so we have that. Is there anything uh, holding down space just to see? Oh, I think I hear bird. Starting to hear. Hmm. Are they in the... Oh, oh. A bird is hiding in one of the trees. Yes. Its song is quite lovely. Oh, there it is. This bird is apprehensive. I mustn't get too close. Otherwise, I'd rather mm -hmm. risk it flying mm -hmm. off and never returning. I'd like to know which bird it is. I have to attract it. Well, what did we uh, get there? We got, I think, a... Was it a document or a report? The six poem... Was it a dialogue? We got something about the bird when we, when we heard it. Okay. Well, we know one of them is here. That's a start. The famous White Tower. Hmm. Where or where will these other birds be? Oh, did we? Did we? Oh, oh, it's a map location. That's what we got. Can we go in any of these places? Uh, not there, at least. Nope. I mean, it would be too much to ask that this place is, like, fully explorable, but it would have been fun. Oh, we cannot go up here. Gotcha. Yeah, this is a pretty cool environment. Looking for birds. Looking for birds. Yeah, I would love to know how accurate this is to, like, I guess the historical Tower London. All right, another location. Can we go in this one? No. Definitively no. Guard box. I'm assuming we can go into the actual tower. But I do want to explore around the perimeter as much as possible. Yeah, so I'm assuming this map is all, yeah, all these locations. Okay, cool. Excellent. We can, we can we can quickly move around this area if we need to. Uh, no. So we need to lure the bird. Do you hear it, Holmes? Hmm. A strange call, like a series of cracks alternating with smooth notes. The cries seem to be coming from the shrubs. The shrubs. Oh, these shrubs. What do we have here? Evening, governors. You, the investigator, chief. That we are. He told me to go around and spot you, but see, I was out of shag, and with it being a shilling a pack and all, there was no reason to inform Scotland Yard. Ah. All right, well, uh, tell me about the tobacco. What happened to your pack of tobacco? Heading back to the barracks, it fell down, didn't it? Or shone me lantern down on it, and this black thing swooped out the shrubs and oh. it. Since then, it won't stop its chattering. Fancy that. It's very strange. Well, what about the pack? What did the pack look like? Yeah. Oh, it was a bright blue pack. An okay. angle on the front, too. Hmm. I won't be so maybe there's a bird that's attracted to no blue way. objects. Just so we're clear. I don't expect to find it, my friend. Good night. <laughs> hmm. That's that then. Good night. Okay. Okay. We can work with that. What about this? 
Huh. Um. Yeah, they're what singular tracks. These are. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know which bird it is. I have to attract it. Does that tell you anything, Holmes? Yeah, I guess we need to find information about birds. I have to attract it. Does that tell you anything, Holmes? What singular tracks? No, no. Are? I think I'd these like are all the the same the same clue. It. Does that tell you anything, Holmes? So I'm assuming we're going to need more information before we can figure out what bird is in here. And I guess we're going to find different ways it, to. Hmm. A strange call. Yeah. A series of cracks alternating with smooth notes. The cries seem to be coming from hmm. shrubs. Cracks and smooth notes. You know, I mean, we, we should probably write that down. Here, I'm going to take out the mystery solving paper. And pull out a new page. All right, so we have cracks and smooth notes in the shrub. And we'll go back to the tree. Maybe get a hint about what that call is. All right, so cracks... And smooth is the shrub bird, and it has footprints. Okay, so those are kind of the rough clue to start there. Let's see what else we can find. Oh no, I did. I did. Like a series of cracks alternating with smooth notes. The cries seem to be coming from the shrubs. Okay. And I believe this is where... Oh, no, we didn't come here yet, though. Yeah, this is a new location. Maybe there's another tree in the bird... Or another bird of the tree around here? Hmm. Well, at least know the location of two of these six. I wonder if there's anything else around here. No, not hearing anything. Okay. Then we shall press onward. Wonder can we climb up here? It looks like we can. Oh hell yeah. Hmm. We can overlook it, but it doesn't look like there's actually anything important here. It's kind of fun to be able to explore. Okay, so we can take the shortcut through here. Yeah, this area is huge. Oh, I heard a bird. Yeah, kind of sounded like a bird. Oh, we can go in here. Ah, oh, the weapons room. Okay. Interesting. I'm not sure why we need to go in here, but I, I'm all for it. This is fun. Oh wow. Okay, so there's a couple things we can take a look at. What's this? Of munitions empty. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what's over here? Maybe we can find a, a book about the birds that live around here? Collection of weapons is impressive. Mm hmm Dr. Watson. All sorts of weapons here. Collection of weapons mm -hmm. is impressive. Quite so. Co, this may prove to be useful. Okay. I mean, I won't turn down an item if you want to pick it up, Holmes. Magnificent articulated armor. All of the pieces. Now, this is pretty cool. Even the greaves. Magnificent articulated okay, yep. armor. Same thing. All of the pieces are detachable, even the greaves. What do we have here? If I want to attract a bird, from ah. school, I don't know which bird to call. It could be that none of the calls will correspond. Hmm. Okay, so we need to find out more about birds. This part is dedicated to medieval hunting. And then we can use the whistles to call them. Watson, not the time. This space is dedicated to the navy. This may prove to be useful. Ah, oh, that will definitely prove to be useful, so at least see the the birds a little more clearly. This net has a large mesh. We'll find out later if it'll prove to be useful. Okay. A small navy cannon in perfect condition. It hmm. is just missing the wheels. Okay, so lots of different items here. And I guess we can go out through this door? Oh no, we can't. So it's only one way in, one way out. What do we have here? This part is dedicated to medieval hunting. Uh, anything else we can grab? No. I guess the main thing is we just don't know what what birds we have uh, around here, right? Ooh, this area is pretty big. Alright, so that's the central area. 
Assuming this is where we came in, right? I wonder if there are any birds out here. Hello, hello? Nope, doesn't look like it. Good evening, sir. Okay, so... We have some information, but without, like, I feel like we at some point need to get a book of, like, birds. Well, I'm glad we can walk around that. Okay. Hmm. Well, we came through here. I guess let's go up through this way. Maybe there'll be some new information up here. Maybe another bird? Oh, no, we can't go up there. Hmm. I wonder if we can see more uh, about that bird in the central area. Nope, nothing here. Well, that's rickety looking. Oh, we can go up here, though. Hmm. Okay, nothing for us to see. Kind of surprised there isn't a bird. I feel like we've really covered this area. So, if my guess is correct, we're, like, around here? Yeah, we should be able to at least investigate around the corner, unless it's blocked off. No, it's blocked off. That's okay. Anything around here? Nope. 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 Can we climb this, though? Also, no. Okay. Hmm. For as much exploring as we've done, it seems like there's a lot of places these birds are not. Hmm. Can't go here. You know, this is one of those areas I imagine it's actually easier with the point and click because there's only so many places that the camera lets you know that it's like, uh, this, this is where you should be focusing your attention. I can't go in there. That's the central area where that other bird was. So we'll we'll take the little telescope that we have and check that out next. Now, where the hell are we going to get information on birds? There's got to be a book. Maybe we can talk to the Raven Master. And I think it's right in this tree, right? Yes. So. Oh, Jesus. What? Okay, this is a very weird way to do this. This bird is black like a raven, but its morphology is completely different. What type mm. of bird is it then? Huh. Okay, what if I take this off? Does it tell me more about the... This bird is apprehensive. I mustn't get too close. Otherwise oh, I wish I, I heard more about its call. Never returning. I'd like to know which bird it is. I have to attract it. The bird, Holmes. There it is. This bird is apprehensive. I mustn't mm -hmm. get too close. Otherwise, I'd run the risk of it flying off and never returning. I'd like to know which bird it is. I have to attract it. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, it dropped a feather. Okay. So maybe we can use that to identify it. This feather was dyed black. Um. Okay. So this is... The black feather is from the central area here. I guess we can maybe try going in the tower. Maybe there's some information here. Closed. Well, that's no fun. I want to go check out the arsenal. Hmm. Yeah, where's the Raven Master? I'm assuming he might be able to give us at least a little information on the birds. There was another entrance over here, so maybe we can go in this way? Nope. And nope. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we came over this way. We took a look at this. It's a little placard here. Huh. Where did that guy go? So one of the birds likes tobacco. Oh, oh, we got something here. This is the storeroom. God damn. Ah, uh, I was looking all over for you. Have you found anything? Oh, I, I mean, I found some stuff. The missing ravens. We are making progress. Tell me, what is behind this door? It's the storeroom. Uh, can I have the key? <laughs> Do you have a key for this door? I can open it, but you won't get far. Ah. A grill is blocking the entrance, and Pitt, our cook, 
thought it would be a good idea to put on a combination lock. Damn. I mean, I feel like this place is, like, too secure, given that no one can get in. Can you find the cook? It's just that tonight is his night off. Oh, he god damn it. countless pubs in London, and he won't be back until tomorrow, just in time to prepare our tea. That's unfortunate. Oh, uh, what about the code? The code for the lock. No, having nothing to do in this area, I do not know the code. Obviously, no chance. You are very unhelpful. What? I seem to remember that the code to open the lock has something oh. to do with one of his ancestors. Listen, I can give you the key to his apartment. Okay, just so you are going to be helpful. Excellent. If you find something, it will save time. I'll explain it when he gets back. I thank you for oh. your cooperation. So let's write in ancestors. I everything to its proper place. So the ancestors lead to the code. Gotcha. I'm assuming uh, private lodgings. Is this not where we go? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Closed. Uh, why? Why cannot I? Okay, there we go. So, can we use the key? Hell yeah! Okay. Oh God, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, so let's start off looking to see if there's anything to interact with in the corners, any items we might be able to, hey, that's a really neat poster. Uh, Anything else around here? It seems like, okay, maybe it is just the desk. So Ancestor, let's take a look at the photo. Uh, Mrs. McAdams, her two children, Mr. McAdams, Mrs. Pitt, her four grandchildren. Okay, so I'm assuming it's top to left, bottom to right. So this, I'm assuming, is Mrs. Pitt and her four grandchildren. I guess let's let's go with that. McAdams family. I've seen that name somewhere. Hmm. Oh, McAdams. Wasn't that on the graffiti? Uh, my dear Starling, it's been a long time since I've written with news, but I've been very tired for the last while, and I haven't had the energy to get up even just to take to to jot a note, not to take. To up even just to jot a note and you know how Mary writes I didn't dare ask her to take my dictation as it would take me three days to correct her errors and I'd end up spending my pension on blotting paper she is just the same a sweet girl and not a thief like the one before I'm happy to hear how work is going for you the whole family is bursting with pride that one of our family is in the service of the queen our poor widow of Windsor the queen oh our poor widow of Windsor yes I was speaking the other day with Mrs. Nesbitt, whose son who, whose son didn't rise above raising pigs. The old lady thinks of nothing but him and his trade, and is always trying to convince me to buy some ham, lard, and what have you, whatever she visits, whenever she visits. I said to her, you listen, Mrs. Nesbitt, if you're just here to nauseate me with these greasy references to your son's sad toiling, you might as well stay home. Damn, you're a real asshole. Uh, she reeks of manure almost as much as the pigs themselves. But no, she is proud to raise pigs even though her grandfather was the Duke himself, master of the hunt. Talk about a social climber. Ha, man, you are a very unpleasant person. Not like you, my dear. When I think of you as a cook in the Tower of London with regal chambers to be sure, when years ago our family had their feet in chains, they, uh... Oh, there they were. Stood up all night and all day waiting at the po uh, postern. You told me that you had found a trace of your ancestor's arrival, as well as the precise date that he was standing there so many years ago. It's good of you to honor his memory and forgive him for, no matter what his faults were. It's thanks to him that we have gotten through the trials of time. Take care of yourself. Okay. Okay. So he... Found... Hmm. I wonder... This letter is very interesting. Yes. It's a shame the envelope is missing. Mm-hmm. Thursday, ham omelet, radish and pudding. Friday, oh, that's that's a pretty good omelet. Uh, Friday, bacon and tomato pie, a new recipe that I hope uh, they will like. And rum cake, all, all, all sounds good. Uh, baked potatoes, braised duck, and a blueberry pie. Man, this is a pretty good menu. Man, we got like a whole bunch of stuff from this. Okay. Yeah, I wonder. What a swore I saw that name on the graffiti. Let's go back over there and, and check it out. I think it's over this way. Yes. 
I might be wrong, but I thought that was the case. So we're looking for the date of his ancestor's arrival? Oh no, I think slightly... Oh, I mean, it goes here anyway. Um, wrong way. I have to go out here. I guess I could just... There we go. Why, why go through the trouble? Uh, graffiti. What a swore. Um... Mac Adams. 1632. Right? Yeah, I thought... Um, can we not do anything with this? Okay, well, I guess we know that. 1632. Sure. Uh, do we have anything in the documents? Um, recent family photo... Yeah. Anything else about that? You told me that you had found a trace of your ancestor's arrival, as well as the precise date that he was standing there so many years ago. It's good of you to honor his memory and forgive him for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm assuming it's that. So let's let's write down the full date, just in case. It's 21-8-1632. Perfect. Got that all written down. Hmm. Not sure if that is the correct thing, but I'm I'm assuming, I mean, why would you put another McAdams in there, right? 